keep your mouth shut. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Peter, it's an absolute honor to meet you, sir. Seriously, this is huge for me. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, pleasure. I'm going to jump into this because I really do have a thousand questions for you. Um, I would sure. imagine uh, over 40 years you have heard every question, every joke. Everyone thinks that they're the first person to make some sort of Christmas story reference to you on the street. I'm genuinely curious, though, over the last four decades, how many people have gifted you uh, a BB gun or a leg lamp as a gag gift? Uh, well, I've gotten, yeah, there's, I mean, this merchandise you know, has sort of exploded. Nobody expected this movie of all movies to have merchandise. I frequently get the smaller leg lamps. Fortunately, no one's come up to me on the street with a gun, which might be a, which might be a little challenging for them. Um, I have been sent a lot. I'm aware of it. I'm grateful for it. But I do have the original gun from the movie. And so as far as I'm concerned, no gun can really top that one. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, you know, I really do love this idea of Ralphie in a way sort of becoming the old man for this story. Obviously, we lost the great legendary uh, uh, Darren McGavin a while back. I'm sort of curious, what is, what is a question or a piece of advice you wish you could have asked him about coming back to this world, this character, and now sort of being the old man in a way? Well, I was so grateful because during the original, um, Bob Clark, the director, and Darren in particular, you know, Darren had such a resume at that time and was not only such a gifted actor but such a great person and spent so much time with me. Uh, knew everything about every aspect of the set. If any question came up, if a grip was trying to figure out how to keep a door open, he'd just kind of casually say, oh, he'd just kind of wedge it from the back and sling over the, and they'd say, oh gosh, he's right. Uh, he could solve any problem on the set. He was gracious and I felt like in those times I was re really able to get to know him to connect with them. And you're right, you know, I, I think the original very much is kind of coming of age of a young boy. Um, it's facing a lot of those things like bullies and kind of wanting that gift and, you know, he gets kicked in the face by Santa. Uh, he kind of keeps going and the adult Ralphie is very much at that kind of coming of age in his midlife point where he wants to be the best dad that he can be and really the way in is kind of the passing of the old man. For sure. I'm so glad you did bring up uh, being kicked in the face by Santa because I specifically yes. wanted to ask about uh, about that scene. Every time I see that clip, I feel so bad whenever you're like, it's a, it's a great moment. You have that great moment where you get to actually tell him what you want for Christmas. But physically seeing Santa put his shoe against your face and show, I'm just sort of curious, what do you remember about shooting that day and how many times did you have to have your face kicked to go down that slide. We, we did a lot. A lot of times during movies, you'll kind of evaluate the scenes and then the director will say, oh, I want to go back and get a shot. And actually that that super close up of me where I mm -hmm. climbed back up and then get kicked was um, was a little moment that they wanted to add. They had looked at the scene and I think they really wanted to see my face up close. What I like most about it is that Ralphie goes through all that stuff, including getting kicked. But it doesn't really deter him from his goal. It's like you can't keep this guy down, and it's kind of a great character in that way. I love that. Uh, I'm going to cut you loose on this. Kevin Bacon uh, once told me a really great story, that when he goes to a wedding, he will tip the DJ not to play Footloose. He just he doesn't want to deal with it. He's, he's heard <laughs> right. it. He gets it. Are there any aspects of this movie? I know we all love this movie. I know you love this movie. But are there any aspects of it that you try to avoid? Like during Christmas time, do you avoid being in the aisle with BB guns? Do you avoid being within a standing dis distance of a flagpole? Like, do you have a Kevin Bacon Footloose story in that yeah, way? Well, I think it's Target and Walgreens. I mean, the, you know, the merchandise in this movie is wild that's come out. So I try not to go into brick and mortar retails because it is strange. The few times I have some people have looked, you know, at a piece of fudge with my face on it and then to me and then back to the fudge and I just kind of slink out of there. Well, I got to tell you, they're giving me the wrap. Uh, I grew up uh, like everyone did on the original, but I got to say, I did not think that this sequel could be as good as it is, but it genuinely is fantastic. It, 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 it hit me in all the ways that the original did. And I didn't think it could possibly do that. So congratulations. Thank you for waiting that. long enough just to make it the right way. And uh, congratulations. It was really an honor to meet you. We're going to have you in studio in a couple of weeks. And I'm so honored. Oh, Everyone's great. so excited for you to come in. Awesome. Looking right, take forward care. to it. All right, Thank take you. care, sir. Have a good day. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.